It took a while, but three row luxury crossovers are finally coming into their own. But as more and more newcomers enter the segment, you might not think an OG like the QX60 has anything for them, but it does. And it all starts with a sleek, rounded design that stands in contrast to angular, more traditional looking SUVs. It's basically the ideal aesthetic for family car shoppers who don't want anyone to know they have a family. Just remove that 3.5 badge since no one cares about your engine displacement. This sophisticated design motif continues inside where nearly every material is soft to the touch and high in quality. And while the protruding dash doesn't exactly project an air of openness, the overall effect is decidedly upscale. Things get even better out back thanks to a second row that slides and reclines. A one-touch lever on both sides provides access to the third row. And one's back here. Yeah, I could sit back here. I am sitting back here, but what I mean is that this is a legitimate third row. There's even USB ports back here. Up front, the seats are easily among the most comfortable in the category. Particularly supportive of the lower and mid back, seat comfort is bolstered further by a long throw steering wheel and symmetrical armrests that help keep you in an ergonomically friendly driving position. Nifty storage nooks like this multi level center console and lower dash tray are a nice touch, but when it comes to general cargo hauling, the QX60 can't measure up to the Acura MDX or Buick Enclave especially in terms of space behind the third row. Then again, the QX60's tidier dimensions begin to pay dividends on the road. We'll tee off by talking about something used by no other conventionally powered luxury car on the market, a CVT transmission. And that music isn't necessary because this CVT is really quite good. It's smooth, responsive, a little bit buzzy, but that's to be expected. And according to Nissan engineers, significantly more reliable than years past. Plus the artificial gear changes feel surprisingly natural. Infinity's gearless gearbox comes paired with either a 295 horsepower 3.5 liter V6, which actually feels more powerful than its output figures would suggest, or a one-off hybrid powertrain comprised of a supercharged 2.5 liter four cylinder gasoline engine and 15 kilowatt electric motor, good for 250 net system horsepower. Both models can be equipped with all wheel drive for an additional $1,500 or so. For those contemplating conventional or hybrid power, it would be wise to think hard before dropping an extra $9,000 on a slower, poorer handling model whose only claim to fame is a modest four MPG advantage in city driving. Not to mention the fact that we were also able to log a very respectable 26.1 MPG on the highway and an average speed of 67 miles an hour in our non-hybrid tester. In corners, the QX60, like every seven seat SUV, can't break the laws of physics. That said, the steering and chassis tuning do a pretty good job of injecting a wee bit of fun into the experience. In tight quarters, a relatively tight turning radius makes it one of the easier midsizers to park. When the interior pieces aren't rattling, the cabin is sufficiently quiet, and the ride, though a bit firmer than most vehicles in this class, works well on surfaces that haven't been completely ignored. Sadly, a core cockpit component has been almost completely ignored. As a consequence of running an outmoded first-generation version of Infiniti's in-touch infotainment console, the QX60's multimedia offering lacks the modern hardware and connected technologies of more contemporary rivals. To be clear, it isn't a bad system, nor is it difficult to use. But when you're competing against this, there's room for modernization. But when considering it's $46,000 to start and $58,000 all in, the QX60, not unlike the Acura MDX, is a relative bargain when compared to seven passenger European models like the Audi Q7 and BMW X5. Of course, the Buick Enclave opens even lower at roughly $41,000, but trails the QX and MDX when it comes to interior quality, resale value, and standard equipment. Speaking of which, base QX60s come furnished with bi-xenon headlights, 
a height adjustable power lift gate, heated front seats, leather, passive entry with push button start, and an 8 inch driver information display. Bucking the annoying luxury market trend of overly complex option sheets, the QX60 is offered in only one trim, with package content consisting of a 15 speaker Bose audio system, power operated third row seats, a motion activated lift gate, panoramic roof, and premium second row accommodations like heated seats, an AC power outlet, USB ports, and rear seat entertainment displays. Notable safety tech includes full range adaptive cruise control, automatic pre-collision braking, and lane departure warning. If your budget permits, you can buy a more engaging, more refined, or more prestigious seven passenger crossover, but if it doesn't, the QX60 earns our recommendation for its enticing upfront costs, exceptional local lease rates, if you look hard enough, and resale values that are nearly identical to those of the class-leading Acura MDX. And it's for these monetary reasons that the QX60 keeps on keeping on as a serious contender among seven-passenger luxury crossovers. And factor in what you get for those numbers, we can attest that this is a smart buy.